Hello everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this adorable wedding card for you today using Tie the Knot and the Perfect Day Stamp and Coordinating Die Set. This is just a really fun grouping of wedding themed products, which I absolutely love. I think you're really going to enjoy them as well. I'm going to just use an anti-static powder tool on my white cardstock. I'm going to stamp out my perfect day wreath stamp onto my white cardstock with my embossing ink. This is a clear ink from Honeybee Stamps. It works really, really, really well for heat embossing. I'm going to apply a little bit of gold embossing powder over top of that embossing ink, that clear ink. That embossing powder is going to stick to the clear ink and that's going to allow me to heat that up and melt it. And it's going to create just some really nice, pretty gold sparkly um, of an impression on my project here. Now I'm using the coordinating die from the Perfect Day Coordinating Die Set to die cut out this beautiful wedding wreath that's going to be the backdrop for my groom and my bride. I'm going to use my Karen markers to color these in. These markers can be found in the Honeybee shop, so make sure you check them out. I will link them up in the description box below, but they're a water-based marker, super easy to use. You can see that I've just scribbled them out onto my glass mat and I'm picking up the pigment with a sparkle pen. This happens to be a Crafters Companion Spectrum Noir sparkle pen. You can use any sparkle pen that you have and I will be sure to link up to some options for you. But this is just a really fun way to add some sparkle to your coloring uh, while adding that pigment. So you just pick up that pigment with your sparkle pen and color in those areas. And this is really super easy, especially when you have a heat embossed image to color. You can see again, I'm just adding my colors to my mat and I'm just picking them up with that sparkle pen and adding them in. I decided to zoom you in here so that you could just see how really easy this is and just super quick. And there you have all of your different little areas colored in. So really love that. Love the Karen markers. They're super awesome for some quick and easy coloring. Now this is the tie the knot die set genius set. I love this so much. It is so cool and I've never seen anything like this. I think it's really, really original and really neat. I'm going to die cut my wedding dress out of white cardstock with my Bitty Buzz Cutter. I just cut a piece of white cardstock into a three inch wide strip and putting that into my buzz cutter here. The Bitty Buzz Cutter is just the perfect addition to your craft desk. It allows you to die cut out these small dies so easily. It's just nice and compact works really really well. I'm going to die cut out like I said those wedding pieces from white. I'll just get those set aside and ready to assemble my bride and groom here today. So you can just see how easily these layer together and there is a guide for layering the bride and groom's uh, garments together on the Honeybee uh, website. So if you do want to use that reference to help you, you can totally do that. I wanted to cut the belts on the dress or the kind of like the um, horizontal lines for the dress out of some gold glitter cardstock. I just thought that would be really, really pretty as an accent for my wedding dress here. And so those little pieces will be adhered to my gown once I'm ready to adhere that together. You can just see this little piece here fits at the waist and then the other piece fits at the bottom portion of the skirt. I'm going to also cut out a little bow that's going to decorate my dress as well. Cutting that from some white cardstock again here just to keep things nice and white for the wedding dress. But honestly, you could make this a an evening gown if you wanted to. If you didn't want to use this as a wedding dress, you could make your wedding dress another color. You could put pattern on the dress. So many different things, different ways that you could um, you know, use this dress uh, and make it different. So now I'm going to go to the groom's outfit. I'm going to cut this um, solid piece here from white because that's going to that's going to allow me to layer over top of that so that the groom's shirt appears to be white and the sleeves underneath or below the coat jacket are going to be white as well. So that white piece is going to be the base for the top portion of the groom's outfit. I'm going to cut the next layer of the groom's uh, top 
from black cardstock and that's just going to be layered over top there you can see and then that's going to like I said show the white shirt underneath and the cuffs will be white I'm going to cut some some of the other pieces the pants and the lapels for the jacket from some dark gray cardstock and just going to take those out of my bitty buzz cutter I also cut out the little collar pieces as well they're just itty bitty teeny tiny little spots of gray there that you can see by the lapels and those are going to just provide the little detail like I said for the collar on the shirt which I think is just so genius that all of these little details are included and just really look cool when they're all fit together so I'll just get those off of my cutting mat here and I do feel like a pair of tweezers are really um, not essential but they do really help when you're working on something like this so I will be using the honeybee reverse tweezers throughout the process I'm also going to be cutting some other little pieces from the dark gray this happens to be the little pocket uh, for the jacket and I'm going to cut those pieces again from white because I want the little pocket handkerchief to be white and so you'll just see me running that through I believe I show you anyways um, this with some white as well and I'll soon be ready to put these pieces all together and assemble these little um, gorgeous <laughs> bride and groom outfits I just think this set is so fun and really great for a wedding card um, the, this wedding card turned out so nice and it just so happens that I do have uh, we were invited to a wedding this coming weekend and this will be the wedding card that is used for that event so really love how this turns out now I am going to like I said cut that same piece from white and the little pocket piece I won't be using but I'll be using the handkerchief from this um, little cut and so I'll just put those tiny little pieces there and what I did was when I finished cutting each one of the dies I put them back onto the packaging so that I don't lose them they are fairly tiny so it is important to just make sure that you get those back onto the packaging when you're done with them this is just a tiny little bow tie that I'll be using for my outfit as well for my groom you can just see how teeny tiny that is I'll just flick that off my mat and I'll get that bow tie put away now I'm ready to start to assemble my groom's outfit here so you'll see me first here adding that black layer the jacket over top of the white base and then I'll go ahead and adhere the um, lapels now I did use um, a fine really fine tipped glue applicator here for this process just because I found that that uh, a really small bottle like this is just a little bit more helpful for putting these together but you can just see how that just leaves that little bit of white at the bottom of the sleeves like a white cuff I thought that was so cool and again just using that little tiny bit of glue on each of these different little pieces to add the details onto the little groom's outfit I love the dark gray lapels I think this just looks really classy and you could totally create whatever type of suit you want if you want it to be colorful um, you know whatever and it's just lots of fun to be able to create the exact um, color scheme for your bride and groom that you prefer so lots of fun to just get all of those different little ideas and be really super creative with these little dies with this die set there's just so many different ways you could use this for a prom a prom outfit um, just whatever and I think that's really fun so it could actually be for graduation or some other special occasion if you're celebrating a uh, wedding anniversary and you wanted to um, duplicate or replicate the outfits that the couple wore on their wedding day for their anniversary for example and so on so these are just those tiny little collar pieces that I now have in place and then I'll put the little black bow tie in there as well like I said earlier it is nice to have tweezers but I do also you'll see um, use a little pin as well I use the little pin for actually that's from my glue bottle and just help me to move things into place as well now please excuse the ink all over my fingers I did create a mixed media card um, last night for another project and I did end up getting a bunch of unchartered Mar unchartered mariner yeah unchartered mariner ink all over my fingers so that's why I have blue fingers 
So that little pocket piece then goes there and then the little handkerchief that goes inside the pocket will be added to that. And you will just see me performing my surgery here with my tweezers and adding that tiny little pocket handkerchief there. I'm just getting rid of some of that excess glue. And I love how that looks. I think it's so realistic and just so perfect and fun. So now I'm going to put the bride's dress together. It's a little less detailed or there's fewer pieces for the bride's gown. Um, so this large piece is going to go over top, overlap over the main or base piece. And then the smaller um, detail piece will go over top of that for the skirt. And then I can add my beautiful little gold glitter pieces to the rest of the, the gown, to the little uh, waist area, and then this little detail on the, on the top of the skirt area there. So just really love that. And like I said, you could add whatever details in whatever color of paper or, um, you know, whatever you would like for these different little um, individual detailed bits that you are using for creating your gown. So just again, going in with that really fine tip glue bottle to help me get into those tiny little areas. And this is that little sweet little bow that I'm going to place on there as well. And just gonna put that on the belt area that I just, I thought that was just a perfect way to finish that off. And I love how that looks. And so there's my finished little bride and groom outfits. Now this is the Mod A2 cover plate from Honeybee. I cut that twice from white cardstock and I will adhere those together. I just wanted to create a little bit of a detailed background behind my bride and groom so that they're just not on that white cardstock. I definitely could have just put them on the, the white card front and that would have been fine. But I just thought I would like to create a little bit more texture, almost to make it look like the bride and groom are against a fancy wall or something like that in the wedding venue, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. I love the texture that this cover plate offers. It is really cool. And this is a really versatile cover plate. You could use this for a ton of different types of cards and for a ton of different types of purposes for your project. So I've adhered those two layers together. Now I'll just add those to my A2 size top folding portrait card base here. And I'll just add a little bit of pressure to that and make sure that's all adhered together. Now I'm using a sentiment from the Perfect Day stamp set and I'm using the coordinating die. I've stamped out to the happy couple and now I'm just going to die cut that out going to use my bitty buzz cutter again to die cut the sentiment the perfect day stamp set has a bunch of really great sentiments and there actually is a coordinating um, inside sentiment set as well for this collection I don't have it um, but I will link to it in the description box below so that if you want a really lovely wedding sentiment um, or verse to go on the inside of your card that is a really nice coordinating set to get with the Perfect Day collection as well. Um, it just really um, enhances that set so nicely. So I'm going to put some foam adhesive on my wedding wreath here and I'll add that onto my card base over my Mod A2 cover plate here. Just going to kind of orient that to the top because I want to leave room for my sentiment, my greeting at the bottom of the card. Now I'm going to put the bride and the groom's outfits on some foam adhesive as well and adhere those with some dimension also onto my card front. And I'm just going to add the, the bride's dress. I will uh, overlap them a little bit. I overlap the groom's suit on the wedding dress a little bit and then I overlap the bottom of the wedding dress over top of the groom's uh, suit pants. And just wanted to kind of get them in tight and close together. And you'll just see me here adhering these alt onto my card base again, just with that foam adhesive as mentioned to create that extra little bit of dimension. I love this set. I think it is absolutely genius. As I've said, I think it creates just a really lovely wedding card. And I think that there's a bunch of different ways that you could use this set. Uh, the Perfect Day Wreath also has a coordinating stencil set so that if you wanted to color the florals and the greenery in the wreath, you could purchase that stencil set separately and use the stencils to add some color 
to this um, wreath as well. I will link up to that stencil set in the description box as well if it's something that you're interested in purchasing uh, as well with this perfect day set which I think is so gorgeous. Now I have popped up the sentiment on some foam adhesive as well just to give it the same dimension as the bride and groom and the wreath and I'm just going to finish up with adding my foam adhesive to the back here and that will finish up my card today. I have linked up to all of the different products that I've used from the honeybee shop in the description box below friends those are affiliate links so if you use those links to shop I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you so be sure to check out the links in the description box below and this is my finished card and I love how it turned out I hope you did too and I will see you next Friday for another project take care stay well and I'll see you soon bye bye